I'm Simon Holstone of the Elephant Restaurant in Torquay and I'm going to be talking about what I would say is the elephant in the room for many chefs, frozen fish. How I use it, how I think other chefs should be able to use it and dispelling some of the myths and some of the scare stories that you hear about fish for this day and time. What we've got here is fantastic frozen at sea fish. As a chef, we know that frozen food gets a bad rep, but frozen food done correctly is absolutely fantastic. So this cod and haddock is caught in the pristine waters of Norway. This fish is caught and within an hour it's prepared, boxed and frozen down. So this could be six months in my freezer, but it is only one hour old. You can't get fresher than that. The fish comes in, it's all prepared, it's got the skin on, it's still got the bones in, but it's been cut down beautifully and packed. And the consistency is spot on and easy to get at. So I don't have to defrost the whole box just to get one fillet. So we've taken our fish now out of our snack boxes. The defrost process is called tempering. And what we mean by tempering is that we take it out and we allow it to come back to the natural temperature. So the day before we need it, we take it out of our boxes, solidly frozen, put it onto a gas tray tray, and we just put it into our fridge and leave it overnight. There's no liquids coming out of this fish because it's so fresh. So when you come into the morning, you go into your fridge and you'll have a perfectly defrosted piece of fish. So how would I use frozen at sea cod and haddock? Exactly the same as I would use fresh fish. The real test really is cooking it. Does it stand up to fresh fish? I know it does, but I want to show you that it does also. So I'm going to cook up a lovely seasonal dish using lovely vegetables that are now in season. We've got some spring cabbage, we've got some broccoli, and we've got some fennel in there, and we're going to be cooking it with our frozen at sea Norwegian cod. We've got a mussel cream, and we've got some leek oil, and we're going to finish it with some wild garlic butter. A really nice, vibrant, fresh dish. And we're going to throw some little shrimps in there as well, just to boost that flavour up. So, hot pan, oil, and we're just going to put our fish straight in there. Meanwhile, we're going to warm up all our vegetable garnish. Some asparagus as well. And then we have our mussel sauce. So our uh, frozen sea cod is now cooked. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plate up and we've got some perfect combination of flavours here for, for the cod. So we've got our spring cabbage, we've got asparagus, we've got some potato, we've got some diced fennel, some fine beans, a little bit of broccoli, some leek, and then we're just finishing it with some lovely brown shrimps. Our sauce is going to go around the outside of that. So just a nice mussel cream and a lovely piece of fish. Just, just cooked. Look at that. It's stunning. I'm gonna put our wild garlic butter on top. Perfect. And then we're gonna add a little bit of leek oil to go around the outside. So there we have it, our Norwegian frozen at sea cod. Cooked simply with a lovely seasonal vegetable garnish, a mussel cream, some leek oil, finished with some wild garlic butter. Beautiful piece of fish, previously frozen, sustainable from pristine waters of Norway. What do you think?